Greetings there, ladies and gentlemen. I am James Virgil, and I'd like to welcome you back to Metroid, the original for the NES. So, last time we got a few items. I pretty much went on about how the Ice Beam it will take us twice as long to kill enemies. And how uh, my little bit of my experience with Metroid, how I kind of got into the Metroid saga. Now I'll probably can go a little bit more on about uh, Metroid 2 when I actually... Did I? I have no I can't even remember actually what there. That's how we get out of there. It was mainly just jump and let the damage kind of boost us out of there. Damage boosting before I even knew the word damage boost. Yeah, it's like a speedrun technique thing and I was doing it in Metroid long before I even knew what I was doing. Fantastic. Anyway. We can freeze cucumbers now. Awesome. We can freeze a lot of things. Let's just blow it up. Let's blow this pop popsicle stand. See how we just kind of... Personally, I do not like the ice beam. Not in this one, anyway. Because it just takes twice as long to kill things. Like, if it actually... Freezed and then... The... The next... The shots afterwards kind of just took damage instead of freezing and the enemy just unthaws like pretty much like any other Metroid games basically I think except for number two you no know, number two does the same thing and that'd be a lot fun but this one you just like it just takes twice as long to just get these guys now we could go up but I don't really want to go up though so this is like my version of what I'm gonna do so it's what it is Everyone has their own, I guess, way or way to do this. I do this, I go to Norfair, and then I take out uh, Ridley's Hideout. I go to Ridley's Hideout first. Or better known as Mini Boss Hideout 2. Not one, but two. Two is, two is Ridley, and Mini Boss Hideout 1 is Craig. Just two. Right there, we only have two quote unquote bosses. They're called mini bosses in this for some reason, I don't know. And that's what the boss, that's what the manual says that they are, so that's what I'm gonna be calling them. I'm gonna call it mini bosses. I guess the quote unquote boss of the game is uh, obviously Mother Brain, so the other bosses are just mini bosses. Makes sense. Alright, here we are with. One of the staples of the Metroid series, which is the elevator, which I don't have to worry about load times because it's an NES game. Alright, so here we are in Norfair. I always found these statues to be slightly creepy, just slightly. So we can go right or we can go left. And I'm going to go right, even though I went left. <laughs> And here are these, I can't remember what these guys' names are, but uh, they take a while, so I would just make freeze them and then shoot a missile at them. Because, well, that's going to probably kill them a lot faster. These things are, I think, uh, Volas. No, Vola. They're very similar name to another enemy in this one called Multi Violas, so I think they're just called Violas. No, they're not. The, these ones are not Violas. The red ones are going to even take longer, so just kill them. <laughs> just kill them with a the missile. Freeze them, kill them with a the missile. Blah, blah, blah. Now then sometimes, like when I first played this, I came down to Norfair, get that missile, and then I went back up to Brinstar. You can do that, but it's a lot somewhat backtracking. And I don't really know. We have a wall here. You can do that, but it's, it's backtracking, and we're going to backtrack enough to begin with, so... We can actually go through the wall, so let's go through it. Basically, you look at the pattern in the wall. So you see the big, big uh, bubbles, like the big solid ones. We can't go through. And pretty much the ways you see two ways through the big bubbles, and that's where I am now, and just like above me a little bit. Those are the two ways. Like if I somehow went through the wall and went through the <laughs> the north part of there, I can actually get through. They just did it that way. And here we have Ripper 2, which is a Ripper that has fire coming out of it behind. Mainly, that's all. 
And these are polyps or poly, poly something. Something. Yes, can you edit the names into their uh, uh, future future me? Just just for for the sake. And these guys too, like if you haven't already. Alrighty. Here we are. Thank you for letting me know, Adobe applications, that I have a update that you never did before. Thank you. Anyway, we're going over here. We have another swarm enemy, which I can't remember what they're called, but they're doing something. Okay, can you just bugger off? Thank you. Okay. It was lagging my game for some reason, that update. I don't even know if that's going to show in there, but, you know, let's do it live. Alright. I'm having a feeling... Oh, yes, this is probably where I'm going to probably mention... Alright. This is probably where I'm going to mention somewhat about patterns. So, in this game, and I think it's just because of the... the space, the spacing in this... There are going to be one of two attack patterns for certain enemies. And the the ground enemies that shoot the the red the red doors that look like on the these things. They're one of the, one of the ones the that this pattern affects. Now the patterns change depending on if you actually die, but for the most part, if you don't die, it's one or, or one or the other pattern. If you're playing the Famicom disc version, then the patterns don't matter because they mix up the patterns. As I think attendantly what it was supposed to be. But in this one, you get one pattern or you get another pattern, and I believe it's going to be one of these weird patterns. Yes, I don't remember it ever being like that. So this is going to be interesting. I'll go on about the patterns and what kind of usefulness they have, because sometimes they're going to be useful and sometimes they're not going to be useful. I believe this is going to be a somewhat of an interesting run if I'm thinking the pattern I'm going to be doing. Fantastic. I still can't remember what these... Um, I think these guys are supposed to be on fire, because the Super Metroid equivalent of these guys are on fire, but I believe they're not. I gotta say, some of, the, some of the sprites are genius. So much genius. And to actually get by this very quickly is just ignore them. And then only some of these... Oh, okay. Now this is also another guy that actually gets affected by the patterns, if um, one pattern is that they jump high and the other pattern is that they jump low. And I jump in the lava, which is not a good thing. Alright. So yeah. So as you can tell, lava really sucks in this, because it will drain your life. Very much so. Did I mention what energy tanks do? Probably not. Energy tanks give you a extra hundred points of damage. That you can take, <laughs> not do. So you can take an extra 100 points of damage. And we have purple ones, which are these these things. Purple are armored, and the red ones you can infinitely kill, or you can kill with a missile blast. Need a little bit more oomph in our step. All right, let's kill these. Now I do have to say, up to about here is I was pretty much good for my first time playing, and then I couldn't actually figure out how to get up here. So I didn't have the ice beam. And I was like, what do I do? Where do I go? Type of thing. All right, same deal. We have a passage, hidden passage, secret passage, if you may. And here's another enemy that actually is affected by patterns, which is the dragon. One will shoot a fi one will shoot fire, one pattern will shoot fire, while the other one will not. And I got the firing pattern, which is not always good because I'm very vulnerable going through the door. And just in case this is what I don't get is that you kinda have to have the ice beam to come here. 
And for some reason, your World War is the Ice Beam. Now, do we get double Ice Beam? No, we just get the regular Ice Beam. Ice Beam is in two locations. In this. I don't know why it's here. Like, yeah, I guess you could essentially... But the thing is, you kind of need the Ice Beam to come here also. Like, even if you kind of... Like, I need the... Like you saw, I needed the Ice Beam to get up to this area. So, I don't have no idea why the Ice Beam is here. It always kind of baffled me, because I did, like I need the Ice Beam to get here, and yet I'm rewarded with the Ice Beam. Hallelujah. <laughs> Alright, we can actually bomb over here for some strange reason. It doesn't really take us anywhere. And for some reason, this lava doesn't actually affect us for some reason. And to get up here, we have to play some chance. And hopefully we don't get take a lot of damage coming up here. Because we can actually get damaged and fly pretty much the opposite way that we want to do. But unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, fortunately, I didn't get hit. Now these things are the ones that are like the only enemy that I actually know, other than Zoomers and Street Bats, and those are multi violas because it's just a strange, strange name. All right, so I would actually probably. I really wish I could actually like put a map and kind of show you where I am now. But I'm very much above where I was. That's all I can actually say right now. And we're going to get a lot of missile expansion packs right now. Not a lot, but a little bit. And I should have pointed out, but missile missile expansion packs are five. You get five additional missiles to your arsenal of missiles. All right, so here I can't go up. But I can go down, so we're going to bomb our way over here. Alright, now this chamber is that chamber that I actually went up originally, so I, I call this kind of a main chamber because it goes literally almost like through all the areas in Norfair that you need to go to. We got some more missiles. Missile. There's a lot of missile expansion packs in Norfair. Not too much in Brinstar. Uh, but most of them are actually in Norfair. Actually, come to think of it, it is, yeah. There's not many in, in uh, Ridley's hideout. And there's not a lot in Craig's hideout either, so... Most of them are here, and, and you're kind of thinking, okay, well, I got five missiles, and we can bomb there, we can bomb nothing here. As you can see, the big bubbles go all the way through, so it, it, it's done. And anyway, we're going to backtrack, because, well, that's what we need to do, and there's going to be a lot of this, a lot of backtracking in probably the next episode, or the episode, at least the episode after that. Alright. I'll probably go in more into the thing about patterns, and show you and show, like, the difference of patterns, in, like, maybe a bonus video. Alright, so I'm going to call it here and have these guys jump up and down as I'm signing off and, you know, make you highly distracted of watching them and actually listening to my voice. But anyway, we are going to continue our way through and even go in the more depths of Norfair in the next one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I always seem to repeat myself, but anyway, take care. <laughs>